This is the video for section 9.3 notes, slides 11 through 13. All right, so in section 9.3, we're talking about something called slope fields. All right, so a slope field is uh, just a coordinate grid where the slope given by a, a differential equation is uh, given at each point that is noted on the graph. All right, so I'm going to show you how to find what a slope field looks like, but then also I'll show you a, uh, a an applet that will draw a slope field for you. All right, so sketch a graph of the slope field. All right, so very simply, what I want to do is I want to take each point and figure out what its x, y coordinates are, and then plug them into the differential equation. Now, you'll notice dy dx is x. So what does that mean? dy dx, remember, is the slope. So the slope is equal to x. All right, so if I go to this first point, negative 1, 0. The x is negative 1. So that means the slope is negative 1. So I draw a line segment with a slope of negative 1. All right, going over here, 0, 0. All right, what is that? Well, 0, 0, 0 is the x. So that means dy dx equals 0, meaning a horizontal line segment. All right, this is 1, 0. So that means the slope is 1. This is 2, 0. So the slope is 2. Okay, so notice negative 1, 0, 1. 2, right? So this 2 is a little steeper than 1. All right, over here, negative 1, 1. So slope of negative 1. 0, 1, slope of 0. 1, 1, slope of 1. 1, 2, sorry, 2, 1, slope of 2. All right, over here, negative 1, 2, slope of negative 1. 0, 2, slope of 0. Uh, 1, 2, slope of 1. And 2, 2, slope of 2. All right, so that's it for a slope field. Now, let me show you a computer generated slope field. All right, so if I go here, I can see, so this has the slope at any point. So notice uh, on the y-axis, all the slopes are horizontal, right? Because the x value is always zero, all right? On this vertical line here, we have x equal to one, right? So all those slopes are one, then all these slopes are two, then all these slopes are three, and all these slopes are four. And over here, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, all right? So that is a slope field. Now, obviously, we can change the equation. Right, so like this is dy dx equals x, but what if it was like um, you know negative two x? So now you'll see, okay, this is still zero, but now this slope would be negative two times one, or negative two times two, or negative two times three, or negative two times four, and so on. All right, so that is uh, a slope field. All right, so now we will have to understand how to look at a slope field. All right, and then determine what its differential equation is. Okay, but Initially, we just want to make sure we can draw a slope field. So we drew a slope field. All right, so that's the new thing. All right, but now it says find the particular solution to this differential equation with the initial condition f of 1 equals 2. So this is actually an old question. This is a unit 6 question. I'm given that dy dx is equal to x. So I'm going to multiply by dx and get that dy is equal to x dx. All right, so now what do I want to find? I want to find the solution to the differential equation. So that means I want to find y equals, right? All right, so if I have dy equals x dx, I'm going to integrate both sides, right? So this is just an old question. So integral of dy is y. Integral of x dx is x squared over 2 plus c. Remember, this is an indefinite integral. Now, I'm given that f of 1 is 2, and so I'm going to use that. x is 1 and y is 2, right? So 2 equals 1 squared over 2 plus c. So uh, 2 equals one half plus c, so I subtract a half, so c is equal to three halves, right? So that means that my equation is y equals x squared over two plus three halves, right? So that is the particular solution that's going to have f of one equals two, right? Now remember, okay, the derivative of this, if I take the derivative, obviously I get the dy dx, well, that would be two x over 2, so just x plus, well, derivative of 3 halves is 0, so dy dx is x, right, like was what we started with, all right, so that's it, that's an old question, right, but then c says draw the graph of y equals f of x on the slope field, all right, so first of all, okay, y equals x squared over 2 plus 3 halves, now you, you should know what this is, right, but chances are you're not going to know what it is, right, uh, and you'll see some later problems, but what we have to do first of all is 
f of 1 equals 2. So that is a point, right? 1, 2. So I'm going to go on the graph and put a point at 1, 2, right? Then I'm going to draw according to the slope field. So what does that mean? Well, that means there'd be a slope of 1 right here, right? But as I go to the right, the slope gets steeper, right? Because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And so on. As I go to the left, it gets less steep, and then it should have a 0 slope right there. And then it becomes a negative slope, and it goes here, has 1, 2, right? But negative, right? So that's what the graph looks like following the slope field, right? Okay, now if I were to go back over here, and I were to say, okay, let's draw, let's write that equation, y equals uh, x squared over 2, right, and then plus 3 halves, right, you can see obviously that this goes through the point 1, 2, like we said, and then follows that. Now, of course, this is a parabola facing upwards. It's been shifted up 3 halves, right? So that's not a huge deal. We should be able to draw that, all right? But the key is, is that we can follow the slope field, right? So if I, if I were to, like, zoom out of here, right, you can see how these follow what the slope is at those particular values, okay? Um, so that's the idea of a slope field, all right? So let's go on to the next question. All right, so same question, basically. Consider the differential equation dy dx equals y now, all right? Um, and then it says sketch a graph of the slope field. All right, so first of all, okay, I'm going to go to each point, and the slope is the y value. So this is negative 1, 0, so y is 0. 0, 0, y is 0. 1, 0, 0. 2, 0, slope is 0. All right, here, negative 1, 1, slope is 1. 0, 1, slope is 1, 1, 1, slope is 1, 2, 1, slope is 1, negative 1, 2, slope is 2, 0, 2, slope is 2, 1, 2, slope is 2, and 2, 2, slope is 2, right? So that was pretty easy, all right? Now it says find the particular solution to this differential equation with the initial condition f of 0 equals 2. All right, so once again, dy dx equals y. All right, so now separate the variables. I'm going to multiply by dx, and then I need to divide by y. So dy over y equals dx. Once again, as soon as I separate the variables, I'm ready to integrate. All right, so dy over y. Remember, this is like 1 over y dy, right? So integral of 1 over y dy is the natural log of the absolute value of y, right? Equals integral of dx is just x, and then don't forget about the plus c. So natural log of y equals x plus c. All right, so now I want to find the value of c. f of 0 is 2. So that means that x is 0 and y is 2. So the natural log of the absolute value of 2 equals 0 plus c. So c is equal to the natural log of 2, right? The absolute value is not necessary because 2 is already positive. All right, and so that means that the natural log of the absolute value of y is equal to x plus plus the natural log of 2, right? But we want to make sure we solve explicitly for y, all right? So you will find that uh, AP is always going to ask for the explicit solution in this type of problem. So first of all, how do I get rid of the natural log? I exponentiate both sides. So that means that the absolute value of y is equal to e to the x plus the natural log of 2, all right? Then how do I get rid of the absolute value? I put a plus or minus over. So plus or minus e to the x plus natural log of 2. And we did talk about in section 9.2 how to simplify this. Remember, that means uh, e to the x times e to the natural log of 2. But e to the natural log of 2 reduces. And so we're left with plus or minus 2 e to the x, right? So now plus or minus, right? We can only have one of those as our answer. So which one? Well, if f of 0 is 2, if you were to plug in 0 for x, you get e to the 0, which is 1. So positive 2 or negative 2 equals 2. Well, of course, positive. So our answer is y equals positive 2 e to the x. All right? And so we want to be able to graph this. All right, so now f of 0 equals 2. So once again, I'm going to put a point at 0, 2, and then I'm going to draw according to the slope field. So what happens? As I go through this point, I have a slope of 2. Now, as I go down to the left, the y value gets less and less. So that means my slope gets less and less and less and less. And actually, there's a horizontal asymptote here because I can never reach that because the slope will never uh, reach zero, all right? But then as I go up, the slope gets steeper and steeper and steeper, right? So that is the graph of y equals 
to e to the x. All right, so now let's verify this with our slope field generator. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this real quick. All right, what about this then? All right, so y equal, uh, dy dx equals y. Okay, so now you can see I have the slopes here of 1, slopes here of 2, slopes here of 3, 4, 5, and so on, slope of 0. All right, so now we graph this 2e to the x. All right. And I put the 2e to the x there. And so you can see this. It goes through 0, 2, of course. Right? And then the slopes are what they are. Okay. So that is example number two. All right. Let's go on to example number three. All right. So consider the differential equation dy dx equals xy over 2. All right. So now, same idea. Okay. We want to use the x and y at each point to get the slope. All right. So xy. Now we have to use both. All right. So I'm going to go on the side. All right. So I have negative 1, 0. Right? Negative 1, 0. So x is negative 1. y is 0 over 2. Right? So negative 1 times 0 over 2 is 0. Right? So the slope is 0. Next one. 0, 0. Of course, 0 times 0 over 2 is 0. Right? So 0. Next one. 1 times 0 over 2. Of course, that's still 0. Right? 2 times 0 over 2, that's still 0. Okay, what about here? Negative 1, 1. Negative 1 times 1 over 2. That's negative 1 half, right? So a negative slope, but pretty shallow. All right, this one. 0, 1. 0 times 1 over 2, of course, is still 0. All right, this one. 1, 1. 1 times 1 over 2 is 1 half. So positive 1 half. All right. Next one, 2, 1, 2 times 1 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1, so a slope of 1 here. All right, going over here, negative 1, 2. Negative 1 times 2 over 2, so that would be negative 1, and so a slope of negative 1. All right, 0, 2, 0 times 2 over 2, of course, 0, so horizontal. 1, 2, 1 times 2 over 2 is positive 1. And then lastly, here, uh, 2 times 2 over 2, of course, it's 2, so a slope of 2, right? So that's all we have to do it to um, calculate the slope field, all right? And that's just kind of some tedious work, but it's really not that bad. All right, so now let's do part B, okay? Consider the differential equation dy dx equals xy over 2. So first step, dy over dx equals xy over 2. First thing to do is separate the variable. So I'm going to divide by y, multiply by dx. So dy over y equals x over 2, or 1 half x dx. All right, so now, remember, I'm going to integrate. All right, so on the left side, integral of dy over y, remember that's like 1 over y dy, so that's natural log of the absolute value of y, equals integral of 1 half x, that would be x, 1 half x squared over 2, so 1 fourth x squared plus c. Don't forget about the plus c. All right, so now f of 1 is 1. So natural log of the absolute value of 1 equals 1 fourth times 1 squared plus c. All right, natural log of the absolute value of 1. So that's just the natural log of 1, right? So what is the natural log of 1? The natural log of 1 is 0. So 0 equals 1 fourth plus c. So c is equal to negative 1 fourth. All right, so now I get the natural log of the absolute value of y equals 1 fourth x squared minus 1 fourth. And so I want to get rid of the natural log. So the absolute value of y equals e to that whole thing, 1 fourth x squared minus 1 fourth, right? And then I get rid of the absolute value. So y equals plus or minus e to the 1 fourth x squared minus 1 fourth. Now, it's important to remember that the 1 fourth x squared minus 1 fourth is all in the power, right? And so you have to remember that you can't just arbitrarily get rid of that uh, minus one fourth here. Now, it's important to remember that in the last problem, we had x plus the natural log of two. So when we split it up, the e and the natural log reduced. But in this problem, I don't have a natural log. And so I wouldn't be able to reduce that. All right. You could say that this is like plus or minus e to the one fourth x squared times e to the negative one fourth. You could say that, right? Um, but you can't re get rid of the e. Now, what you could do is you could say, oh, okay, well, e to the negative one fourth, that's actually like the fourth root of e in the denominator, right? And so then you're kind of playing out different, you know, 
uh, values that you could potentially have, right? All right, so now which one do we want, the plus or the minus? Well, f of 1 is 1. So if I put in 1 for x, I get e to the 1 fourth times 1 squared minus 1 fourth. So 1 fourth minus 1 fourth is 0. So e to the 0 is 1, right? So positive 1. Now, it is possible that you get the negative, so you've got to pay attention to that, but we want the positive in this case. So e to the 1 fourth x squared minus 1 fourth, all right? And then lastly, it says draw the graph of y equals f of x on the slope field. All right, so draw the graph. Well, first of all, it has to go through 1, 1. So it has to go through here. All right, so now it has a slope of 1 there. But now as it goes up and to the right, it's going to get steeper and steeper and steeper because x and y are multiplied, right? And now as it goes to the left, it's going to get shallower and shallower. It's going to have a 0 right there. And then it's going to become negative, right? And then it's going to go over here, and it's going to get steeper and steeper. So it actually kind of looks like a parabola, even though we know it isn't because it's not a quadratic equation. All right? So that is slope fields.